Hi everybody, it's me Tess with Tess Loves This Yarn. And you guys, today I am here to share with you my Michael's <laughs> grab bags. Um, now, I don't think I told you all this before, or I might have, I don't know. But um, a friend of mine named Linda sent me a text. It was actually a couple of weeks ago, right before Superman got sick and wound up in the hospital. But um, she had sent me a text and said she's at Michael's and she saw some things that she thought I might like. And anyway, long story short, we were out having lunch at a sit-in restaurant for the first time since COVID began back in early 2020. So she said, you know, I'll just put it on your front porch. And I was like, great. Well, imagine my shock and surprise um, when I came home to these giant Michael's bags, right? <laughs> so anyway, these Michael Michael's bags were mostly yarn. They did have some um, like face mask in there and then they had like some smaller kind of crafty projects in there. Mostly all yarn. So today I am going to share with you the yarn and also um, I want to let you know that I did go up to Michael's um, I called them back and asked them if they had any more because different Michaels are putting those grab bags out at different times. And actually, just a couple of days ago, they still had these grab bags at the Michaels in my area. So if you haven't had a chance to um, get to Michaels or if you're interested in one of these ginormous $5 grab bags, um, call your local Michaels up and just ask if they have the $5 grant bags. And if they have them, they'll let you know. So anyway, I did just that. And I went and actually was able to get a few more grab bags. So yeah. <laughs> but what I want to share with you right now is what I got in those grab bags. Because you guys are going to be totally and completely amazed right um i'm gonna start out i did i have this all kind of organized but then um my brother and his wife stopped over for a little visit and i kind of got disorganized but just take me a quick second there we go see already i'm reorganized again so I'm going to start out with showing you the cotton that, that I got from these grab bags. And um, you guys, uh, I am was totally speechless. I have to tell you, when I opened the bags that Linda brought over, I cried. I did not just like get teary-eyed. I was like sobbing large ginormous crocodile tears <laughs> because I just could not believe um first of all her generosity she's such a generous person and um secondly I just couldn't believe all the yarn in there which was totally amazing and you know I do a lot of knitting and crocheting um for charity charity work and so this was just a huge, huge blessing, but let me get into showing you this yarn, everybody. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is the Caron Cotton Cakes. Got a little tail there hanging out, but the Caron Cotton Cakes, and I got three of these. And the colorway is called Grayscale. And these have 530 yards in them. And they 
also are 60% cotton and 40% acrylic, okay? I got three of these in the same grab bag. Three, three of them, okay? So that's, that's the first one. And like I said, it's the um, Karen Cotton Cake, okay? And then, hi Thor, my big puppy's down here. I think you could see his little, little backside right there. But then I'm going to move on because that's all I got in the Caron Cotton Cakes. But then I got Caron Cotton Ripples. See, do I have that upside down? Yeah, Caron Cotton Ripple. And you guys, these are 100% cotton. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, 100% cotton. Okay. Now, they're um, listed as a number three, but in some areas, they really kind of almost go up to like a number four, or they do, in my opinion. So, I say it's between a three and a four, but um, of the Caron Cotton Ripple Cakes, I got 43 of these cotton cakes in my grab bags 43 yeah that's a lot <laughs> I mean I couldn't believe it right I'm going crazy I'm crying I'm blah 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 all the whoop you're okay for so this one right here oh let me tell you about the cotton ripple cakes there are 491 yards in each cake. They are 100% cotton. And um, it does say that they're a light three. And it recommends a four millimeter needle, which is a, is a US size six needle. And also for a crochet hook, it's a four millimeter hook. Okay. So um, that's the recommended tools to use. So this colorway is called Breezy Blue. Look at that. Isn't it a beautiful like light baby blue, sky blue? So this is Breezy Blue and I got two Breezy Blues. So yes, that's two of these. And then the next color is called Clear View. Now this is like a very light aqua color. It's called Clear View. And of these, I got six, six in this colorway, Clear View, right here. Okay? Yeah, isn't that gorgeous? I mean, who would have thought a $5 grab bag that you would have a bunch of these. And by the way, these normally are $10. And so are the um, Karen Cotton Cakes, the one that I just showed you in grayscale. Those are also $10 a piece. So these, these are the two colors I've shown you so far. See how this one is like an aqua kind of color? And I have six. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking baby blankets, hooded, baby hooded towels. Um, yeah, all kinds, right? All right. This colorway is called Meadow and that has some beautiful yellows, um, from light yellow all the way to mustard and almost even, um, a rust colored. Yeah. Hard to ex describe that color right there but it has like mossy greens or olive greens in it as well and it's striped you can see that you guys I got 10 10 of these I'm flabbergasted right and yellow these colors can be a girl or a boy or you know a very pretty summer top could be anything right so beautiful colors in there. 
And I guess this was possibly maybe an unpopular color for some reason, because I got 10 of them. Right. Okay. The next color I want to show you, and I was really excited about this colorway. This colorway right here. It's actually called Flagstone. But to me, this is very much like a, a dusty rose or a mauve kind of color. Excuse me. Keeping it real. Keeping it real. But yeah, so um, this colorway is, is really got a lot of pink in it. And I don't know why they call it Flagstone, really. Hmm. I don't know. But anyway, I don't care what they call it. I love it. No. And I have five of these. Five. Yeah. And remember, these are 491 yards a piece. So I have five in the flagstone, which is really dusty rose. Yeah. Okay. The next colorway I want to show you. Thor needs to go out! So sorry, I'm keeping it real. But my puppy has to potty. And I've already had to stop this recording once. And I just think, mm-mm, not going to do it again. So, there. All right. So my son is going to go let Thor out to go potty. All right. So the next colorway I have to show you is blush. Now, this is what they're calling blush. I almost would have called the flagstone blush. But anyway, this is blush. And it is kind of a blush, especially when you hold it up to one that's more orange. Then you can actually really tell it's blush. But to me, it kind of looks like a flamingo pink. Yeah, flamingo pink. Okay, so in this one, I got seven. Seven of these in blush. Okay. The next colorway, and you already saw a little peek at this one, is called Copper Rose. And in the Copper Rose, I got two in this colorway. But then I got five in this colorway, which is Clay Pot. And look how well those go. You know, I was thinking I could totally make, like, um, blankets or something, or do something with, um, there are five of this color, and then use this color to, like, go around it. I have two of these. But it just depends. I'm going to have to sit down and really plan out what I want to do. But all together with two of these and five of these i have seven that go together right there so yeah i'll keep that in mind when i'm planning out a project for this okay now the um next colorway i mean it's crazy isn't it it really is <laughs> the next colorway i have to show you it was called Iced Latte, and this is just a very soft, um, I mean, it's very true to color right there. You can, everything is really coming up true to color, which makes me happy. But yeah, it's just a real soft, soft, like a latte color. I mean, I totally get the name, right? And now look at this one. This is French Vanilla. So, can you guys see this? Look at that. So, we've got Ice Latte and French Vanilla. And these two go beautifully together. I mean, they're just gorgeous together. Yeah, you can really see it there. Beautiful, beautiful. So, in the Ice Latte, I have three of these. And I have three of the French Vanilla. So once again, I could plan a bigger project that takes six cakes 
and I could use these two together because they go together beautifully, like they were made to go together. And they probably were, really, you know? So, yeah. So, um, that is all of the cotton that I have to show you. And now what I want to show you are two of these DMC little toppers. I, I got two of these with the little unicorn in my kit <laughs> or not my kit oh my gosh these are like a little kit right they're to make a hat for a child and then this goes on instead of like a pom-pom or something you put this on the top yeah or you can make a scarf and put this on one end you know whatever you want to do with it but I got unicorn this is the one called unicorn I think that's what it's called I'm almost positive who it doesn't say what it's called but I mean obviously it's the unicorn <laughs> now this one is a dragon I think that's a dragon right how cute is he and I only got one of these, but I did get two of these. And I'm thinking those were about $8. I, I could be wrong. I'm not really sure. And there's not a price on the package like there is with everything else. So, clueless. Um, the next thing I got is um, this yarn right here by Loops and Threads. And it's called Flex. So if you can see that, it's really pretty. It's like the soft gray with these creamy little flecks in it. And it's it's very, very pretty yarn. Um, it's got 590 yards in it. And I think it is, yeah, it says right here, 79% acrylic and 21% polyester. And it calls for a five millimeter hook, or it calls for um, a 4.5 millimeter needle. Okay, size seven knitting needle. But that's flex. And I only got one of them, but there's a lot of yards in that. 590 yards, that's quite a bit. So that's definitely enough to make something, right? The next thing I have to show you, I got some Caron baby cakes. These big Caron baby cakes. And these are normally $10 a cake. And the um, it's a number four, number four medium. It is five. 560 yards 560 yards in one of these okay so for these on this colorway which is icy aqua and it is it's to me it's more of a blue but they're calling it icy aqua that's that to me that's a that's more of a a real kind of blue color but anyway they call it icy aqua and I received two of those in my grab bags the next item I got in my grab bags are the pink ones and these are called pink lemonade and you guys oh did I tell you what they're made of I think I forgot they're 82% acrylic and 18% nylon. And I did say 560 yards, yes. So these are pink lemonade and I got five, five pink lemonades, okay? That's a lot, yeah. And then the next colorway that I wanna show you is this one. This one is called um, Soft Summer Stripes. Okay. No, it's called Primary. Sorry about that. 
This one is called Primary. That's the color. And I, I'm not sure why. It's got like some gray and purple, like lavender and yellow and that darker pink color in it. Well, you guys, I actually got seven of this colorway. Seven. But what I want to show you is bring in this colorway, which matches. You can see that's the yellow in there. This colorway is duckling, and I got three of duckling. So I have seven of this, three of duckling, okay? And then I got three of this, which is rosy, they call this rosy red, which is the dark pink, which also matches the dark pink in the primary color, right? And I got three rosy reds, okay? And then the last color that I got in the Caron Baby Cakes, is lavender and you guys it matches can you see that it matches the lavender in the striped primary cake this is called primary i don't know why it's called primary but it is and this is called lavender and it is a perfect match for the purple in the primary color and I did get four in lavender. So all together, I got seven in primary, two in the blue color that they call Icy Aqua, three in duckling, four in lavender, five in pink lemonade, which is the really light pink, and three in the rosy red, which is the darker pink. Okay, so... Whew, yeah, that's a total of 24 of 24 of the um, Caron baby cakes. Yeah, and I just hurt my shoulder. Whew, this is normally my bad shoulder. This one's really bugging the heck out of me lately. But yeah, so I got 24 of those. And now what I'm going to show you... <laughs> Oh, before I forget, I did get this cute little kit. It, it's called Little Crochet Friends. And you guys, it's a little lamb. And it's a whole kit. It actually comes with, um, like, everything. I've kind of opened it up. But it comes with everything you need to make this little amigurumi lamb. Cute, huh? The pattern, everything, the yarn, even the hook. It's got a plastic crochet hook and a little plastic darning needle in there, too. But yeah, so I did get that, which was normally $12.99. Now, the next thing I want to tell you about that I, that I got <laughs> in here, it just goes on and on, doesn't it? Lordy, lordy. I got um, loops and threads baby rainbow yarn okay now this yarn is 500 here it is it is 500 ta -da, and three yards it's normally ten dollars a ball and it is a hundred percent I think polyester yes hundred percent polyester and it's classified as a number four medium weight yarn okay so I got this in this color which is ocean teal I got two of these in ocean teal I got cream which is an off-white very pretty cream color. I got four of those and I appreciate that. You know you can put cream with anything, right? Just saying. If you only have a certain amount of one color, 
if you've got water cream, you can stretch it out. That's what I like about neutrals. Stretch out those pretty colors, right? Okay, the next color I got in Baby Rainbow, right here, is light pink. And I actually got six of these. Six in light pink. So, hmm, score. <laughs> right? Love this light pink. Very pretty. Now, the next color reminds me of Ross at Smells Like Yarn. If y'all know who Ross is, one of Ross's favorite colors is lime green. Now, look at this lime green. It's actually called Limelight. And I got this colorway. And let's see, how many of these did I get? I got two of these. So, two in the lime. Kind of reminds me of Mountain Dew. Nectar of the gods. Right? You guys know I like my Mountain Dew. Yes, I do. Love it. Okay. The next thing I have is just, I got just one of these. It's 478 yards. It's Bernat Bundle Up. Bernat's little bundle up um, baby yarn and this colorway is Little Leaf and it is 478 yards and it is 100% polyester. What it reminds me of it's like this is the loops and threads version which is called the baby rainbow and this is like this is Michael's um, brand store brand yarn this is like name brand yarn but it's like basically the same thing it feels exactly the same to be honest totally the same um, yeah and actually the Michaels baby rainbow actually feels a tad bit softer yeah you know me I'm keeping it real here keeping it real this one feels softer However, they're both the same price. They're both $10, but they're very, very, very similar yarns. Um, yeah, they're very similar as far as the way they feel. One difference I notice um, is the way they're kind of spun. They're spun a little bit differently, I think. But other than that, they're, they're very close to, they're comparable. We'll put it that way. So, yeah. So, the Bernat one, the Bundle Up one, is 100% polyester. And it's number four as well. Okay? So, that's all of those yarns. Um, yeah. That's all of those. And then what I have to show you, which we're going to get a little crazy again. I have some of the Bernat blanket yarn and this one right here is the Bernat I am so sorry I had some kind of spicy food for dinner I had chicken tiki masala my favorite mm. but it's a little bit spicy you know, I keep it real. Won't be editing this. No, no, no. I don't do that. Sorry if I offend anyone. But yeah, those of you who have been here, you know me. And you know I keep it real. And hey, we all have gas, right? Um, yeah. Just I'm just thankful. And it's, it's me being a little burpy and not my dog. Hmm, y'all know where I'm going with that one. <laughs> Yeah, whoo, I'd be having to leave the room. Okay, but anyway, getting back to the yarn. We have two in Marshmallow. And you guys, this is the um, Burnett Baby Blanket yarn. And it is 220 yards. It is a bulky six. And of course, it's 100% polyester. So I have it in Marshmallow. 
I love that name. Oh my gosh, Marshmallow. So yes, I have it in Marshmallow. I, oops, I just lost one. I have it in, I believe this is Mushroom. Let me see, yes, Mushroom, which is a very nice uh, neutral kind of beigey color. Yeah, Mushroom. Okay, and then I have it in, oops, nope, I take that back. This is not Burnett Baby. This is just the regular Burnett Blanket Yarn, and this is in Merlot, and I have two in the Merlot. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I have eight in mushroom eight of these in mushroom and i think i did tell you they're 220 yards right yes 220 yards so i have eight in the mushroom i have two in the merlot and i believe yeah and two in the marshmallow so that is what i have there and then you guys i am so sorry I just lost one of my um one of my balls of yarn here. Let me see. Oh, here I'll just pull another one out of the bag. It rolled off over there. <laughs> Can you see it over there behind me? Yeah, there it is. It rolled off right there. But I got another one. <laughs> so okay. The next yarn I have to show you is Burnett. Sheepy. Sheepy. Yes. So here it is. Burnett Sheepy. And the Sheepy yarn is 149 yards. 149 yards. Um, this is called Cottontail. I have six of these. It's a bulky six. And it's also 100% nylon. And it's like fluff. That's why they're calling it sheepies right sheepy sorry sheepy because it's really fluffy fluffy so in this one i have did i just say i had six yeah hmm i do have six cottontail have six in this one which is called vapor gray I have two. I have two of these in the gray. So yeah, I can definitely put these two together. See what I mean about putting in, putting neutrals together? Well, these are both neutral, really. I can put both of these together because this is a gray, a light gray, and the cream. But yeah, so I have that. <laughs> and then I have, yes, I have more people. And I just took one uh, color of each colorway out of all these yarns because I have bags and bags over here. And it's ridiculous. I mean, I couldn't even hold them all to show you. Okay. The, ne the last thing that I got was I did get the Loops and Threads Eco Brights. Okay. And in the Eco Brights, just to tell you a little bit about the, these, they're 255 yards in a ball. They are normally $8. The price is right on there. These are made out of recycled plastic. That's amazing because you guys, this is soft as soft can be. I mean, this is like baby skin soft. I mean, that this is soft. Recycled plastic. I mean, really, seriously. Who would have known? I mean, you can do anything anymore these days, can't you? But, you know, recycling is a great thing. Okay, now they're calling this a bulky five. Yeah, they're calling this a bulky five. I would not call this a bulky five. I would call that a four. If you're asking me, like I said, I'm always keeping it real and I'm always telling you what I think because nobody pays me 
to give reviews or anything else. This is all me. And I say it's a four, even though they say it's five. <laughs> now, the colorways that I have here, this one is simply called red, and I have three of these. This one is called dun, 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 probably white. Yes, white. And I have two of these. I have this all written down on a on a, in a notebook right here on my desk, on my craft table. This one is concrete. I have five in concrete, and I actually really like that color. Yeah. So I have five in concrete. I have only one in this light, light pink color, which I really, really like this color but I only have one. So there you go. One in light, light pink, but of course I could pair it with the white. Or look at this, you guys. Well, that would be a pretty color combination, don't you think? The, the uh, pink and the gray. That looks gorgeous. Okay, I think I'm gonna do that. But anyway, I did get a dark, pink and that's called magenta and I got one of these as well and I have this color which they call aqua which is to me more like a mint I mean it's got a little bit of blue in there it's coming up a little bluer on camera than what it really is to the to my eye anyway but I have three of these in the aqua color and then I have yellow I have three in yellow and that's a pretty bright yellow which I kind of like it <laughs> and uh, let's see last but not least I have the green and I have four in green so yeah that's what I got, everybody. That was in the um, $5 Michael grab bags. And you guys, I have to tell you, I totaled up what, whoops, I just lost one of my, another one of my Eco Bright balls here. I'm just, let's see if I can get that. I totaled up how much all of this yarn would cost um, if I had bought it excuse me, retail, and the total cost, I hope y'all are sitting down because you're going to be flabbergasted by all this. The grand total retail, retail value of this yarn is $1,250. Blow me over with the desk fan, right? $1,250 is what this yarn would have cost you if you had not purchased it. I mean, if you had just purchased... I'm all flubber blustered. Yeah, see? I get a... <laughs> but seriously, if you had gone to the store and bought this without any coupons or anything... Um, and bought this exact yarn, these exact items, you would have paid $1,250. $1,250 US dollars. So, you guys, that is crazy, right? These were all, all this yarn was in $5 grab bags. And I mean, they really filled these grab bags up, they were full. So, uh, pretty amazing. Six of them were gifted to me by Linda, which is amazing. And then I did go and purchase um, six more. So, all of this yarn came from 12 $5 grab bags. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But you know what would be crazier? If they dumped it in their dumpster out back. 
Oh, Lordy, I'd go crazy, wouldn't you? I'm telling you, I've heard, I've heard of things happening like that. Of course, I would not personally be dumpster diving because, you know, I'm like, I have RA and I'm decrepit and everything else. But if I were spry and able-bodied and I knew a bunch of good yarn was in a dumpster, I'll tell you what, I might be tempted. I bet you would be too. Hmm? Okay, everybody, that's all for today. And you guys, thank you so much for um, tuning in and going on this little trip with me through my Michael's grab bags. I really appreciate it. And I hope you all had fun. And I am going to be doing a giveaway soon. And um, some of this yarn might find its way into that giveaway. So more on that in my next video. Okay? So, everybody... Once again, I appreciate y'all, and until next time, be kind and be safe out there in the world, no matter where you are. Okay? Love y'all. Bye.